Hey, Craig here. Well, in this video, we're going to make this universal drilling fixture plate. Well, I've already done a video on doing the underside of the fixture plate. I will uh, put a link to the, uh, the video below. Okay, now I'm going to drill and tap all the holes uh, along the outside edge here. Uh, I'm just going to do on the two long edges. I'm not going to do them along this side. Maybe in the future I will. Okay, well I got through all those holes, but it was it was running kind of rough. Actually, this drill has been drilling a lot of uh, steel, and I'm just using the same drill I've been using. This could have done like 300 holes in steel for all I know. So I'm going to put a new drill bit in this. Uh, I might slow it down a little bit. Uh, I think I'm at like 12 or 13 inches per minute. Maybe I'll drop it down to, to 8. <laughs> Okay, well I finally got through all those holes, but I was still having some trouble down towards the end. Uh, basically, too many chips collecting in the uh, in the flutes here of the uh, the drill bit. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to try a different type of drill bit, uh, one specifically d designed for uh, chip clearing and deep drilling. All right. Anyways, next I'm going to do the uh, the countersink just to clean up these. I'm not going to use a uh, a chamfer for all these little holes. I'll just hit it with a uh, one of these here. So. Uh. Okay. Well, I had my my model set at uh, 90, 950 thousandths, point nine five zero, but this is actually one inch, and I decided to stay with one inch. But I didn't change it in Fusion three hundred and sixty, so it tried to chamfer down. Okay, well that was probably a hair more than I really needed, um, but uh, it should work. Alright, now I'm going to do the tapping. Um, actually, but I'm going to have to change it into low gear for the tapping, which means I'm going to have to post a new file for it. Okay, well I don't really have a whole lot of experience uh, tapping in aluminum, so, and this is going to be uh, half inch deep. And I'm going to use the fog buster. I'm going to probably turn it up kind of high and make sure there's enough lubrication. So 
Why I don't break a tap, Let's see what happens. Okay, well that was actually the easiest part yet. Okay, well that turned out pretty good. That was uh, pretty fast, except for that one right there, but... Um, looks like it all went pretty good, except for... Uh, I need to work on my uh, speeds and feeds and what drill to use for the, uh, for the deep drilling, for the three-quarter inch deep drilling so all right. okay all that's left to do to uh, finish off this pallet is to uh, mill out the big pocket in the middle here I'm gonna be doing that with uh, three-eighths a three flute carbide end mill certainly didn't seem to be liking that okay so I decided to go with the uh, the shear hog and I'm also going to be going doing a 2d adaptive clearing uh, two depths of cut so see how this goes this will take a little while so I'll probably uh, stop and then come back as just film it as it goes along
Okay, now I'm just going to do a finished pass on the edges and uh, cut out the, uh, the T's in the corners. Okay, well, I don't think I've ever asked the uh, the Tormach to uh, to work that hard as it did removing all this material, but a uh, uh, couple mistakes. Um, looks like the the tool was pulling out when I was first trying to do this with the 3 8 uh, end mill. Uh, turns out, actually, prior when I was doing the tapping on this, I had it in low and I didn't uh, change it back to high, so it was probably turning too slow which was resulting in pull out. Um, this is actually a universal drilling pallet, so this is going to get all full of holes. Um, so this this won't really be a problem. If there's a great big hole, it'd be a problem, but uh, like this hole right here. So so what exactly is this uh, pallet for? Uh, it's basically a universal pallet. The reason it has these uh, T-slots in it is if I want to mount something like this, I can actually reference off this corner in CAD and then I can drill my holes in there. So if I have something like this, I could put it in this corner and either use uh, some type of clamp that goes across like this. Like if I wanted to drill holes here, here and here, I can clamp it down right here and maybe over here. Um, also, if I have stacks of sheet metal, if I wanted to do those, I could stack one set there, one set here, and put some kind of clamps like this. This is the clamp off my own, my old universal drilling pallet. Uh, but I can need, I need to make another set of these. Uh, clamps that'll work better with this. I'll probably make um, individual one screw clamps instead of this double type here. So I can make a series of clamps that I can put anywhere I want. They can be like fingers that come out and clamp down over here. You know, whatever, however I want to set it up. So, you know, if you have a, a part that needs to be drilled, this could be like a, a first stop if you need some holes before doing something else instead of um, you know making a special pallet or something like that. Well if you like this video I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions or anything feel free to leave them uh, down below. If you'd like to subscribe there should be a subscribe button up on the screen and some other videos you might like to watch. Uh, also, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, there should be a Patreon link on the page. I will be posting the CAD files, the, the Fusion 360 CAD and CAM files for this on, uh, on uh, Patreon. All right.